If you've never turned left before in Canada, we need to yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. Left turns have zero right of way. You should be waiting for anyone else that's oncoming traffic and pedestrians. They shouldn't have to wait for you. They shouldn't have to slow down for you. They shouldn't have to worry about you. So that's basically who we need to yield to for this turn. When you're coming up to the intersection, just take a look and see if your light is fresh or stale. Just like if you were going straight, it's good to know if it might be going yellow, then you want to get your foot ready. One of the first things to check is if your left turn is actually allowed. Check by the traffic light and sometimes on the side of the intersection there are signs, turning restriction signs. So if you're not allowed to turn left, then there's no point in looking at anything else. Next thing to check is where are you going? When you're gonna turn left, where are you actually gonna end up turning once you turn? Find out where that is. You need to know where it is so that you can turn nicely, properly, efficiently into that new lane. And also you just wanna make sure there's actually somewhere to go. There might be an accident, construction, some kind of situation there. There might be closed for filming. Just make sure it's actually open and there's a space for you to move into. It's not backed up with traffic. After that, you kind of want to look in a left to right kind of fashion. You have to keep your eyes moving all the time, of course, but you want to look from left to right. So you want to look where you're going first. Make sure there's a space there. After that, check the pedestrian crosswalk. If there's a lot of pedestrians there, then there's no point in really worrying about the oncoming traffic too much because you can't turn anyway. And we have to yield to all pedestrians. So if you're not sure if a pedestrian's gonna go or not, just wait. That is way better than turning when you shouldn't and then having to stop in the middle of the intersection, which we really want to avoid. Uh, a lot of pedestrians run across the road, they come out of a bank and, or a building or a store and they start running across the road, so you do have to be prepared for that. If you're ever not sure if the pedestrian is going to go or not, then simply just wait and see. There's nothing wrong with that. If you are waiting and there's no car in front of you, you should be pulling forward into the intersection a little bit, about one third of the way into the intersection. Some instructors tell people uh, you need to line up your front bumper with a certain line or something like that, but it only works for a certain particular size intersection. So what you really need to do is pull forward about a third way. You don't want to go a half way into the intersection because if there's an oncoming car facing you turning left also, you're going to get in each other's way. So that's why if you pull forward about a third way in, you'll be lining up your turn so it's a nice short, efficient turn and you're not getting in the way of other cars. Make sure you keep your car, your steering wheel, and your tires very straight whenever you're waiting. You never want to have it turned in case you get rear-ended. We do need to think about this because people get rear-ended every day. Hopefully this never happens, but we do need to think about it. We do need to keep our car really, really straight when we're waiting there to turn left. In case we get rear-ended, we would just be pushed straight forward, which wouldn't be the end of the world. If we get rear-ended and our car or tires already turned left, we would be pushed towards the left, onto the oncoming side of the road, wrong side of the road, and we might be hit again by an oncoming car on our passenger side or front area. And that would just be way worse than getting just one rear-ended straight forward. So keep your car, keep your tires straight, your wheels straight. You're either waiting with your car straight or you're turning. There's no, there should be no middle, middle area there where you're kind of half turning, half rolling forward on a weird angle into the middle of the intersection. Just don't do that, it's not safe. If you can't see because the oncoming car is also turning left and they've also pulled forward like you and you can't see what's in the other lane or lanes, then simply wait. Keep your car straight, keep your steering wheel straight, your tires straight. There are a few exceptions, of course, but for the vast majority of intersections, you do want to keep your car really straight there. 
and just wait. The longest you will wait is for your light to go yellow and then yellow and or red. You can leave whenever it's safe. Any car that has entered the intersection when the light was green is allowed to leave the intersection. Once the light is yellow or red or green, it doesn't matter. Once you enter the intersection, you can leave whenever it's safe. It doesn't matter if it's yellow or red by the time it's safe. So don't feel pressure to leave the intersection really quickly once it goes yellow. That's a really dangerous time. There could be cars racing through the intersection. So when it does go yellow, you kind of, you should get ready, get your foot kind of ready to go, but do hesitate. If you still can't see, if there's someone run running through the light, just wait till you're 100% sure it's safe and then leave quickly. And wait till the pedestrians are almost, almost off the road before you turn. Give them lots of extra, extra room. If there's a car coming towards you, oncoming car, that's has a right turn signal on, don't believe that car. They might be turning right, they might not be. They might be turning right right after the intersection into the gas station. Um, we really don't know. And if you turn in front of it and it runs into you, it's going to be your fault because left turns have no right of way. Left turns have to yield. It doesn't really matter what their signal says, you cannot believe it. So just wait in the same position don't turn at the same time as that right turning car, even if you know for sure he's turning. It's just not safe to have no extra space around your car at all times. So turn a little bit after him and then if it goes into your lane or swings wide or sloppy, then it's no big deal. Don't turn at the same time. You can turn a little bit before a right turning car maybe if they're far away and you're not going to be bothering them or it's, it's if it's going to be safe that's fine otherwise just wait and go a little bit after keep an eye on the traffic light a good one to look at is the one on the corner on the left side of the intersection it's kind of the direction that you're going to want to be looking from that spot when you're turning left if you look at the regular light it's going to be way over kind of to the right of you. It's really hard to see everything at the same time. So keep an eye on that light because a lot of student drivers, when they're learning, there's, they're paying attention to so many things and they don't notice that the light went yellow and then the light went red and they're still sitting in the middle of the intersection. That would be a good way to mess up your road test. You need to notice when it's going yellow because you need to leave the intersection after it's yellow or red whenever it's safe if you've pulled forward. If you have not pulled forward into the intersection when the light was green, then you cannot leave legally the intersection when it's yellow or red. You have to wait for the next light. So that would happen if, say, there's a car in front of you. Turning left also, you should always wait behind the white stopping line. Don't follow that car into the intersection. You don't want to be stopped on the crosswalk because if it goes yellow and that other car leaves and you're on the crosswalk, you are not technically in the intersection. So you're not legally allowed to go forward and turn at that point. And it's also illegal to back up on a crosswalk. So if that ever does happen to you, just stay there and apologize to any pedestrians that would then be walking maybe behind or in front of your car because you're on the crosswalk. But ideally you want to either be in the intersection as the first car or if there's a car in front of you just wait behind that white line. If that car takes a while to turn left it's turning on the yellow or red light then you would just stay there. You would not be blocking pedestrians and you can wait for the next green light to roll forward and or turn whenever it's safe, if that make any sense. You could turn at the same time as the oncoming car who is also turning left. If you can see 100% that it's safe and there's nothing else going on, it kind of depends on the intersection and the sizes of the cars and your visibility so if you have no idea and you don't know if it's safe or not then just wait 
you're waiting for your visibility to get better or the light to go yellow or red and then you will leave whenever it's safe whenever you can see it's safe but if it's really obvious that the oncoming car is actually turning when it says it's turning again make sure they're actually going to turn um, you could go at the same time there's lots of room if you both roll forward up to one third into the intersection then you have you have room to turn in front of each other sometimes it doesn't look like it but there's lots of room there it's just a matter of is that car actually going to turn because same thing if it's not actually turning and it's going straight with its left turn signal on and you crash into it it's probably going to be your fault so just be really careful with that if there's nothing going on no pedestrians no cars just turn you don't have to stop first just go for it so it's just some general rules for left turns at traffic lights hopefully this has been helpful it's a similar idea when there's no traffic light you would still roll forward pull into the intersection a little bit so that everyone knows what you're doing 